Guys, what's the crack? Crypto with Dinny. Don't start the car, Dinny. Don't ignore this warning. Um, many have got the message, but I know not everyone will have received the message. Okay, so this video is just a little reminder. If you haven't already taken your Bitcoin off the exchanges, it's probably a good idea to do it. Like yesterday. <laughs> um, there's a thing called contagion, okay? And in 2008, the reason why all the banks had to get bailed out, not just some banks, but all the banks, is because they're all connected. It's a web, okay? Of uh, a fractional reserve banking and they're all interconnected so if one's in trouble they're all in trouble it's exact same in crypto okay these crypto native banks they're all in each other's pocket they all have risk and exposure to each other and when we see one is in trouble they're all in trouble okay and you can see that across the board crypto.com another whopper company bringing out a restriction in withdrawals it's only 10 bitcoin a day so that's probably you know, unless you're a super whale, you're probably okay. But that's how it starts. And now there's other little charges coming in. So all of the exchanges have got smacked with this recent crash. And uh, and some of them are getting caught short. Okay, and we've seen the likes of Celsius have like a bank run on it um, and have to freeze withdrawal. So what I say to you guys is if you haven't withdrawn your crypto off the exchanges, uh, like basically what Bitcoin is, okay, it's a couple of amazing properties Bitcoin has, but one of the properties is it's money that you can truly own, okay? So it's basically, you've no counterparty risk by owning Bitcoin, provided you actually own it, you take it from the exchange and you custody it yourself. Many people don't do that, and they choose to leave it with a counterparty, but right now I think that there's huge counterparty risk. Uh, certainly over the last month, the, the risk has totally changed, and we've seen multiple companies get into trouble, we've seen multiple companies fail already, and uh, the contagion looks to be spreading. So if you don't know how to get your crypto off exchange, you gotta learn. Because remember, even a small amount of Bitcoin today, in a decade's time, is likely to be worth a lot of money. Uh, what I'm doing today is, I'm on the way up to the Crypto Adini office, where I'll be doing all this uh, for a client. So I've got steel billfold backup wallet here. Boom. And uh, they've got a, uh, where's that other yoke? One of these beauties, Ledger Nano S Plus. So to get all that as part of the service, and I basically get their crypto off the exchange, we set up their wallet, we back up their wallet, okay? Then we test the backup. By the way, if you are gonna set up your own wallet, make sure you test the backup. Um, and uh, you know, you can learn how to do all that stuff on, uh, on YouTube for free. Or you can pay me and I'll do it all for you, so it's all right. Um, but make sure you do test your backup because most people don't even realize they're meant to test their backup. And uh, there's pretty much no point in using a wallet unless you test that the recovery seed is recoverable. Um, because basically you only find out that it's not recoverable when you need it. <laughs> so, crypto off exchanges, if you don't know how to do that, check out the Crypto with Dini website. You'll see it as part of my consulting. Uh, we do it for you. Or to join the Retire Early Club where I teach you how to do all this stuff. Uh, we've got 50 people in the Retire Early Club and uh, it just goes out in an email sequence, one little email every couple of days of a basic little step to get you from not having a clue how to custody your crypto or how to set up a wallet or how to test a wallet or how to store a wallet uh, or how to transfer to a wallet. All these stuff just in bite-sized little nuggets. You join our community and we do a live workshop uh, every second Thursday. Uh, on Zoom and it's recorded and we basically just teach you how to do all this stuff and learn it for yourself if you want to learn it for yourself. And if you don't learn it for yourself, just hire me and I'll do it all for you. <laughs> so it's win-win. If you want to learn, I'll teach you. If you want me to do it, I'll do it. But guys, it's important. Don't leave yourself at the woes of counterparty risk. Don't wait until it's too late because it's too late, it's too late. What we had is, does anyone remember Mount Gox? Now, I wasn't in crypto around then, but from studying it, I realized that this is almost like a Mount Gox scenario. Mt. Gox was pretty much the biggest exchange at the time and they went down and so many people lost their crypto, okay? I think we're sort of borderline that territory now. We start to see a couple more big exchanges fail, you're gonna see, like there's already millions of people affected, okay? Remember, there's only 200, pe 200 million people in digital assets at the minute, I think, okay? Two million were affected with Celsius, two million, all right? So this thing is big and if this contagion continues to spread, you know, we're gonna have millions more people lose their crypto, just like in Mount Gox, when it was a massive 
portion of all crypto holders lost their ass assets and that's still not worked out to this day and it was like eight or nine years ago or something so don't let that happen to you you want to own your bitcoin in a tenner in, in 10 years time um so so basically learn how to self-custody guys if you need help jump on don't forget daily exercise full disclosure i went for a walk this morning i was gonna say i'm not doing any daily exercise because i'm hung over to bits but uh, I did go for a walk this morning with the dog. So I got a bit of daily exercise in today. And I might go to the gym later on, we'll see. Try and sweat this hangover off me. But I uh, hope you have a good day. Hope you have a happy Monday, a productive Monday. And uh, don't heed, do heed the warning. Don't wait until you can't withdraw your crypto. Um, take it off the exchange and learn how to self custody because that's the basic skill. That was the invention of Bitcoin. Money that you can own. Censorship resistant money. Boom, Dinny out.